So going after, going over just like Tesla, Tesla master plan, obviously we've made a bunch of forward-looking statements, as they call it. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do this year uh, is we're going to reach combined production of 10,000 a week between SX and 3. Next year, we'll expand the product line with Model Y and Semi, and we expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year with no one in them. Not in all jurisdictions because we won't have regulatory approval everywhere, but I, I, I'm confident we'll have at least regulatory approval somewhere literally next year. So any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network. So we expect this to operate um, it's similar, it's sort of a, like a combination of maybe the Uber and Airbnb model, and Tesla would uh, take 25 or 30% of the revenue. In places where there aren't enough people sharing their cars, we would just have dedicated uh, Tesla vehicles. When you use the car, we'll show you our ride-sharing app. So you'll be, able to, you'll be able to summon the car from the parking lot, get in and go for a drive. So you just take the same Tesla app that you currently have, we'll, just do, we'll just update the app and add a summon, summon Tesla or, or commit your car to the fleet. Potential for smoothing out the demand distribution curve and having the car operate at a much higher utility than a, a normal car operates. We'll do Model 3 S, S3 and X as taxis, but um, we, we made an important change to our leases. So if you lease a Model 3, you don't have the option of buying it at the end of the lease. So the current cost of ro Model 3 Robo Taxi is less than $38,000. We expect that number to improve over time. Uh, the new battery pack that probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. And at some point, you won't need steering wheels or pedals, and we'll just delete those. So as, as, as these things become less and less important, we'll just delete parts. Just, they, won't, they won't be there. Two years from now, we, 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 we make a car that has no steering wheels or pedals. And if we need to accelerate that time, we can always just delete parts, easy. It maybe it ends up being $25,000 or less. So we're currently at four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, but we can, we'll improve that to five and beyond. We've got the, the vehicle design and manufacturing, we've got the computer hardware in-house, we've got the in-house software development um, the, and, and AI, and we've got by far the biggest fleet. So you say, what would be the probable gross profit from a single robo-taxi? Um, we think probably something on the order of $30,000 per year. So in, in nominal dollars, that would be, you know, a little over $300,000 over the course of 11 years. It might be higher. I think these consumptions are actually relatively conservative. By the middle of next year, uh, we'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. We will have over a million robo-taxis on the road. The fleet wakes up with an over-the-air update. That's all it takes. People will be able to take over and should be able to take over from the robo taxi. Uh, and then once regulators are comfortable with us not having a steering wheel, we'll just delete that. And for cars that are on the that are in the fleet, uh, you know, obviously with the permission of the owner, if it's owned by somebody else, uh, we would just uh, take the steering wheel off and put a cap where the steering wheel currently touches. In the future, consumers will want to outlaw people driving their own cars because it is unsafe. Uh, if you think of like elevators. Elevators used to be operated on a, on a big lever, like you go up and down the floor, and there's like a big relay, and you had elevator operators, but then periodically they would uh, get tired or drunk or something, and then they'd turn the lever at the wrong time and sever somebody in half. Um, so now you do not have tele uh, elevator operators, and it would be, be quite alarming if you went into an elevator that had a big lever that could just move between floors arbitrarily. So there's just buttons. And in the long term, again, not a value judgment. <laughs> I'm not saying I want the world to be this way. I'm saying consumers will most likely demand it, that the, the, the people are not allowed to drive cars. R really fundamental message that consumers should be taking um, today is that it's financially insane to buy anything other than a Tesla.